Hello Broken Arrow. It's officially summer. School's out, the pools are open, and summer sports are in full swing. I'm City Manager Michael Spurgeon, and I'm here with a quick update on projects that we're working on around town for you and our community. First off, the Mission 22 War at Home Memorial had a beautiful dedication ceremony on June 11th. This one-of-a-kind memorial is a poignant reminder of the sacrifice of American service members who have fallen in the war against veteran suicide. I urge everyone in our community and around our area to stop out to Veterans Park to visit this new memorial. The new Senior Center Annex is south of Veterans Park on Main Street. I'm happy to report most of the project is complete. However, we are still waiting on the delivery of the interior doors that have been on back order due to national supply chain shortage. We'll update you when they arrive and the grand opening is scheduled. I'm confident our senior committee will enjoy coming together in this state-of-the-art facility very soon. Speaking of grand openings, Preserve Park on 37th Street between Omaha and Albany is now open. And just as promised, we finished right on time for the splash pad to be open along with our other water facilities this season. This neighborhood park is already a great asset to the families in this area of our community. Now let's talk about Jackson Park, which is located at the intersection of Washington and Garnett. The masonry for the restroom walls has arrived and installation should start this month. Phase one of the parking lot is already underway and should be finished in early July. We'll begin the next phase of the parking lot installation around July 15th. Remember, we're building the parking lot in stages so that people can access the park and parking during construction. Now, a little bit further south at the Indian Springs Sports Complex, the contractor is on track with the installation of the new turf project approved by voters in the 2018 General Obligation Bond Package. This dirt work portion of the project is almost finished and the contractor will begin the installation of the underground drainage system in early July. The field's turf delivery will arrive sometime in late August or early September, and I expect the kids to be playing soccer on these fields this fall. Very exciting for our community. Okay, staying in the south part of our city, but moving a little bit to the east, I have some great news about the Aspen Ridge development. Reesers and some other retailers will begin turning dirt at the end of the summer. Also, you may have noticed the new traffic signal is fully operational at Aspen Avenue and Norfolk Drive. So please use caution as you travel through this area. I want to make a note that once Reesers is near completion, the contractors will finish the surface asphalt and permanent striping on Norfolk Drive. Let's stay in the south part of our community and start with Vandiver East neighborhood resurfacing project, which I'm glad to report is now complete. Great job, Rocky Hinkle and Street and Stormwater Division. This was a big residential project and the contractors and our street department did an amazing job on the concrete work, curbs and gutters, as well as the sidewalks. And they've got done well ahead of schedule and the total cost of this project was about $525,000. Once again, great job to our contractor and our street and stormwater department. Now let's move to the northeast part of our city and talk about the phase one of the Albany Street widening project, which is going very well. And I'm pleased to report that the contractor is making up for lost time due to the weather that we had this past spring. The contractors are working on the north side of the road between 37th Street and the bridge. They'll shift to the south side in early July and should finish up phase one with good weather by early August. Now, phase two is going to be a five lane widening project between County Line Road and the midsection of the bridge on 61st Street. That work is supposed to begin shortly thereafter and we'll keep you posted when that portion of the project begins. All right, here we go. We're going back down south now here and we're going to talk about the construction project on Jasper Street between Aspen and Elm. We are placing a stormwater box culvert near Indian Springs for greater flow of stormwater in the creek. I want to mention that the funds for this project were approved by our voters back in the 2018 General Obligation Bond Package. Our contractor is currently moving the water and sewer lines. The excavation for the new box culvert is complete. Several sections are now being stalled and backfilling for those is underway right now. Jasper Street is expected to reopen in mid-August. However, we will still have work going on until October, so let's be careful as we drive through that area. And finally, let's move over to a very important part of a community that has a lot of orange cones right now, which we all know orange cones represent a little bit of delay, but ultimately results in progress. The New Orleans Street sidewalk project is the first thing I'm going to mention. It is 70% complete with only a few hundred feet left to install on the north side of the road. On the south side of the street, the new sidewalk ties in near Aspen Avenue to Lyons Avenue. The sidewalk project is expected to be finished in late July or early August. 
It's a tremendous improvement for everyone in that area. Now, staying on New Orleans, we're going to move to the intersection, and the contractor is well underway with the intersection work, and the demolition part of the project is already complete. The contractor is working on the foundation for the roadway and will start installing the concrete soon. The first phase of this project will continue through the end of August. Okay, let me point out that I am really excited about the work being done at this intersection. This project is going to be amazing when it's finished because it's going to include a decorative concrete intersection, improved sidewalks, gateway signage welcoming drivers to New Orleans Square, decorative street lighting, landscaping, benches, and much, much more. We anticipate a significant renewal of this area of our town once everything is complete. You know, folks, I don't need to tell you that it's an exciting time to live and work in Broken Arrow because we are the city where opportunity lives. Okay, folks, that's a wrap. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Broken Arrow in Motion. Until next time, stay cool. And I look forward to seeing you around town. This is a production of the City of Broken Arrow, the city where opportunity lives.